With the COVID pandemic a concern, there is a push for increased use of mail-in ballots. You shouldn't be worried about your health or a babysitter or taking any time off your job. We ought to basically be trying to find the best way so people can exercise their right to vote. President Trump and Republicans oppose vote by mail, claiming a risk of fraud. Democrats calling for increased use of mail-in ballots, which are used heavily in Utah, Colorado, Oregon, and Hawaii, according to Democratic U.S. Senator Dick Durbin. It's just amazing to me that the uh, president and his party are arguing that voting by mail is dangerous and fraudulent. The president himself votes by mail. I don't think it's a problem. Republican State Representative Dan Calkins tells me Illinois has a good system to handle voting by mail, where county clerks use signature matching to reduce the chances of fraud. You're going to get an invitation to, ex to ask for a mail-in ballot, and then the clerk will send you a ballot. There'll be people in the clerk's office that will compare signatures and make sure that the signature matches the signature on record, just like when you go vote in person. We have a robust vote by mail system in Illinois. Republican Congressman Rodney Davis says Illinois has safeguards in place, but other states around the country are looking to simply mail out live ballots, pointing to a case involving a congressional staffer trying to obtain an absentee ballot to vote in Georgia. That ballot came in the mail, but so did two other live ballots made out to two different names of two people who must have lived at that address, but those voter rolls were not changed. That's not a process I'm in favor of. 40% of Illinois voting is early voting by mail. Have you heard any claims of fraud? I haven't. Another issue is cost, especially if postage is included to encourage voters to return ballots. It could be substantial. We've received $14 million in Illinois from the federal government to help pay for this coming election. But because of COVID-19, we're going to need more. The Pew Research Center says by the 2016 election, Nearly 21% of voters used some sort of mail-in vote. For the I-Team Indicator, Doug Wolf, WAND News.